If you're watching this, I'm dead.
little bit yet before they get here. Your precious family. I will slaughter them one by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. Watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. And he was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice 
and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. How's Alfred? What you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector who works behind the scenes. If he only knew. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. There's something else she doesn't know. She has the body of Batman's killer in her morgue. Rachel Ghoul is listed as a John Doe, slated for cremation. And what if the League of Shadows finds him? If they drop their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? It doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. Matt Gotham, you. What's the story so far with this professor? Kirk Langstrom. The half-finished file was attached to Batman's code black. There's something big there. Eyes open and ready for anything, then. Idea on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. Bad news. Langstrom is dead. Any idea where I can find his office? Langstrom's dead. Damn it. 
The note said his office is in Molten Hall, the third floor. Thank you. The balcony doors are open. That's my way in. Body cam recording. Here we go. The cops didn't spend much time here. Langstrom must have died somewhere else. These marks are suspicious. I wonder what made them. All I have is dead end so far. I feel like this might turn into something. You'd like it. I'm breaking into a lab. Always did love a good break-in. Even that night you accidentally tripped the alarm? Excuse me, that was you. I'll see if there's anything else to this lead. Stay safe. You too. This is where Langstrom died. You'd think the GCPD would still be all over this lab. Looks like Langstrom was attacked at his workstation. He lost a lot of blood. He tried to get away, and then the attacker pinned him to the wall. Brutal. Langstrom spent his final moments crawling toward that cabinet. Why didn't he try to leave the lab? Holy crap, it's a hidden door. What were you hiding, Dr. Langstrom? Thermostat could definitely double as a keypad.